much this week. We have the Datsun Go Plus. Now, admittedly, it is quite hard talking about a car's stylistic features when it really was not meant to be stylish. But it isn't all bad, actually. It comes fitted with 14-inch alloy wheels, and up front here, you get a prominent Datsun nose with some chrome finishes. Well, although it's not the most stylish car out there, Sean is going to tell us if it has enough power at least to lug around six people. Well, under the bonnet, we have the familiar 1.2 litre naturally aspirated engine that produces 50 kilowatts and 104 newton meters. While those performance figures may seem a little bit measly, you must remember this Datsun Go does not weigh much at all, so it's got more than enough power to lug around its body. Although with six people fully loaded in this car with their luggage, you are going to struggle. The previous generation always felt quite flimsy on the road, particularly at a high speed. This new one feels a lot more grounded and it feels like a much more substantial car. Well, hopefully things are a little bit more exciting on the inside. Brandon, tell us about the interior. Yes, let's see what Datsun has done to spruce up the cabin of its popular budget car. Now the lovebirds are going to be disappointed to find that there is no longer a bench seat. But since this is the plus version, you do get two little extra seats in the back, or two little ones that might have emerged from the intimacy of said bench seating in the old car. You'll spot a number of enhancements in the new Datsun Go, notably the inclusion of an infotainment system, the USP in this category. And you get slivers of fake carbon fiber, a nod to that mighty Nissan GTR. Not really. But you also get a tachometer, now you can keep track of the tack and know when to change gears. You know, I quite like the way the Datsun Go looks, particularly in this plus variant with its extra length. I really don't have too much to say about this exterior. It looks like an Asian spec vehicle and you can deduce what you want from that. You are still very much aware that the Datsun Go weighs about as much as a burp in a brown paper bag. It is extremely light. But it really does surprise you, especially on the highway, because it does go. Based on its predecessor, I'm definitely more excited about the reworked interior in this one. The highlights of the interior is certainly that infotainment system. And thankfully, you now get a normal handbrake. As our market shifts towards more budget-orientated vehicles like the Datsun Go, you will certainly have a plethora of options to choose from. While the 2019 Datsun Go is an improvement over its predecessor, I still cannot recommend it because of its well-documented structural deficiencies. <laughs> 